Good morning, good morning, <laughs> good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Wednesday morning. It is November 2nd. It's 4.31 a.m. Happy Wednesday. This is a little show I've been doing for quite some time. It is a show about me sharing some stuff, some feelings, some emotions, the roller coaster that can be our lives. For those who have been watching a while, you also know it is a show about me uh, sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I got a nice hot cup of coffee in front of me this morning, and I am so excited to take my first sip. I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you got a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> mm. It's kind of funny. Yesterday, uh, during my video, I talked about the uh, me saying bye bye to pumpkin spice because Halloween had just passed, and I realized I still had a little more coffee or pumpkin spice in my cupboard this morning, and as I was making it, I uh, it reminded me of the Mark Twain quote. I think it was Mark Twain who said. Uh, uh, the uh, rumors of my death had been grossly exaggerated. I think that's what he said. Something like that. And the rumors of pumpkin spice being done for the season also had been grossly exaggerated. So, mm, so good. Anyway, how you guys doing? How you feeling? How'd you sleep? I slept pretty well. Uh, I fell asleep listening to some, uh, 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 documentary, if you will, on the internet about George Washington. Thought it was pretty interesting. Woke up a little bit ago, woke up at 351, laid in bed. Kind of had a little more active mind than I'd like. Um, hoping to eventually look, quiet that out and let that pass and just lay there in peace, kind of, you know, with no thoughts going on. <laughs> But I think maybe times in life uh, that are filled with extra stuff that get two scoops of stuff, maybe you're going to have a harder time keeping your mind like that. So uh, as is become my habit, I popped on some positive affirmations, made the coffee, let Holly out, did my yoga, uh, got set up, and here I am. It's kind of funny. I've talked about it the last few days. I don't know if it's funny or not, uh, about my thoughts and the decisions and how to do these videos. And maybe I spend too much time thinking about videos, but I do because I really enjoy doing them. And about the introduction I do every time and how, you know, every day or so somebody will chime in and say, hey, you should just cut to the stuff. And I didn't really have a way of doing it because uh, I don't really have a planned talk, as, as, I, as I said before. And it'd be like asking the long jumper to not do it. If you know long jump, I used to run track to not do his run up to the pit and just get to the pit and just jump. And it's kind of like that. I can't do my show without my intro because the intro kind of gets me going just like the long jumper. That looks kind of like a long jumper. <laughs> Carl Lewis running up to the pit and jumping. Um, but anyway, I uh, realized... I've been doing this uh, for uh, three and a half years on various platforms, but here on TikTok for just about a year. And every day I do a show like this, and where I do my intro and I randomly blah, blah, blah for a while. And sometimes when I blah, blah, blah enough, something of value comes out. And anyway, I've been doing it for a year, so I have like over 300 of these videos. And the other day I kind of thought about it and said, hey, there's some good content in there that maybe I should capture in smaller nuggets and bring out and repurpose and repost. And uh, just yesterday I did it for the first time. And I went back about five or six weeks and saw a couple of these videos I did. I think I looked at three of them. And I made four smaller, shorter videos, segments out of them and posted them last night. And they're getting a lot of viewers, a lot of watchers, and I think there's a ton of value uh, in the little shorter compartmentalized things that are just focused on one specific topic or one funny little story. 
because, uh, you know, and I hate to agree with the people, the critics, because I really don't. But too often, you know, there be a lot of decent quality content in this longer form video and it would get lost and I'd like it to be found. So uh, anyway, I think, I hope, I pray, I think. Uh, yesterday I found a way to make it happen and I'm looking forward to going back and watching a bunch of my old shows and uh, finding little, you know, 30 second pieces of them uh, that are of value and I think I should shine a little more light on uh, because uh, again, I think there is some a lot of good stuff in there and uh, it'll be fun for me. Give me a project to do. Probably put me in front of a bunch more viewers and hopefully uh, some of those viewers will come over to the long form format, which is this. <laughs> anyway, I got a couple more thoughts for you. I'm concerned about the long term fate of social media. I think too much of it is driven on the negativity and the hostility and the anger that so many people seem to have. And it's so populated by trolls and <laughs> that I'm worried that eventually it's going to devour itself. And I think a little bit we saw that with Facebook a few a couple of years ago when they started censoring their audience and censoring everything that people could say and posting what is and isn't misinformation. And I don't think it's coincidence at all that the stock's gone from 350 to $90 a share since that time. And uh, I think maybe this whole platform or several of these platforms, unless they figure a way to do it right and to allow the people that are trying to spread goodness and <laughs> kindness and decency, uh, I don't know, almost give them some protection. It'd be like allowing people to walk into the Art Institute and throw paint on the paintings, you know? And that just doesn't happen. But for some reason, uh, uh, it happens here on these social media platforms. And I saw it yesterday and I had somebody actually mocking uh, the death of my brother. Uh, on one of the comments and it was really sad and it's just so weird and I reported it and I did what I could and I blocked the profile but they'll come back and that's okay I'll just do it again but it seems the platform makers uh, uh, should do a better job and uh, I don't know if they don't care don't know how uh, but I can certainly think of some easy ways uh, but it, it seems it should happen or eventually all these platforms are going to devour themselves and is because it's just going to get too ugly and too yucky. <laughs> but I don't want to leave you with ugly and yucky. I want to leave you with happy and smiley. It is Wednesday morning. It's 439. It's super early. I got a hot pot of coffee in front of me and, or not in front of me, a hot cup of coffee in front of me, but I got about three quarters of a pot behind me and I'm so excited to drink it. I'm so excited to see what this day holds. We never know exactly what the future holds, and I don't know exactly what my day holds, but I'm excited about it. Uh, a home came on the market yesterday. It's funny, there's so little real estate activity going on right now that when a new home pops up, it's super exciting, and I want to go check it out. And a home that uh, is of great interest to one of my buyers came on the market yesterday, and I'm excited to see it. And uh, again, put on my realtor hat because too often that hat's been off and in the closet lately because that is the market. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm looking forward to the day. I hope you are as well. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you are uh, loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And while listening to positive affirmations, one of them I heard today was, I believe in me. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you believe in yourself because although it's important for others to believe in you, uh, it's most important that you believe in you because I believe in you and I hope that you believe in you, if that makes sense. So anyway, I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.